The book we're reading today is called The Twits by Roald Dahl. Today I'm going to read the first chapter and second chapter. The first chapter is called Hairy Faces. What a lot of hairy faced men there are all around us nowadays. When a man grows hair all over his face, it is impossible to tell what they look like. Perhaps that's why he does it. He'd rather you didn't know. There, then there's the problem of washing. When the very hairy ones wash their faces, it must be as big as a job when you and I wash the hair on our heads. So what I want to know is this. How often do all these hairy-faced men wash their faces? Is it only once a week, like us, on Sunday nights? And do they use shampoo in it? Do they use a hair dryer? Do they rub hair tonic in to stop their faces from going bald? Do they go to a barber and to have their hairy faces cut and trimmed or do they do it or do they do it themselves in front of the bathroom mirror with nail scissors i don't know but next time you see a hairy man with a hairy face which will probably be as soon as you step out onto the street Maybe you will look at him more closely and start wondering about some of these things. Chapter 2, Mr. Twit. Mr. Twit was one of these very hairy-faced men. The whole of his face, except for his forehead, his eyes, and his nose, were covered with thick hair. The stuff even sprouted in revolving tufts out of his nose, nostrils and ear holes. Mr. Twit felt that his hairiness made him look terrifically wise and grand. But the truth is, he was neither of these things. Mr. Twit was a twit. He was born a twit. And now at the age of 60, he was a bigger twit than ever. The hair on Mr. Twit's face didn't grow smooth and matted as it does on the most hairy-faced men. It grew in spikes that stuck out straight like the bristles of nail brush. And how often did Mr. Twit wash his bristly nail brushly face of his? The answer is never. Not even on Sundays. He hadn't washed it for years. 